Hey everyone, welcome to DKFC. We are talking the Euros 2016. In particular, we're talking the Saturday matches, Saturday, June 18th. I'm asking these guys, hey guys, Tyrone, Edo, Andy. I'm asking them, guys, you got to put together an eight-man lineup. <clears throat> Goalie, two defenders, two midfielders, two forwards, and a utility player. Who's on your team? I'll start with Edo. Who's in goal for you, Edo? Robert, yeah. Robert Ulmer of Austria. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm not impressed with Portugal at all. And I do think that there's the potential for a, a little bit of a surprise. Or to make saves anyway, because Portugal won't be very creative in the attack. You'll see a lot of shooting. You know, if he gets his fingertips to three or four random shots, that's eight points effectively. I could, he could even keep a clean sheet. So, yeah, for 4,600, I see value in that. Austria goal. Where are you going? Ah, Gabo Kirli. Uh, and, and I will continue to pick him uh, as long as I can. Uh, He's a legend. Oldest man in the tournament? Oldest man in the tournament. Wears tracksuit, but there's, there's nothing more. <laughs> He's the only one wearing an adult diaper, too, we, which is it's, it's weird to see yeah. in a football uniform, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's nice. It's good. Hey, hey, the only man who saw Citizen Kane when it came out in the cinema. Um, <laughs> He's, he's the man for me. Uh, and I, I, but also, I, he had a very good game against Austria, and I think he's possibly going to... He could possibly get shut out against, uh, uh, against Iceland as well. OK. Tyrone, goalie, who do you got? Gabor yeah, Karali as well. Yeah. Hey. What's that I like Andy. Picked him last time. He did not let us down. No, no way. Double-digit figures, saves, punch-outs. He's wearing tracksuit bombs. He's boarding. He's old. He's got everything you like in a goalkeeper. He's slightly eccentric. And uh, I think he will get a shout-out against Iceland as well. I can't see Iceland scoring a goal. Maybe Sigurdsson. Who knows? Eh, he's my guy. And he's very affordable as well. He was only, what, 4.9. So he was one of the cheapest on, on offer of the night. So it just all adds up. It has to be, has to be Karate. Well, the, the sort of look, the track suits and all that sort of fits in with your neighborhood, doesn't it? Absolutely. Stuck well. That's just like home. All right. Uh, we're moving on to defenders. Uh, who do you got in defense? Who is it? Wow us. Who you got? Yeah. Oh, wow you, my yeah. friend. Oh, wow you all with. All right, do it. Do oh, it. wow you with. Ragnar Sigurdsson. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, I love him in the Ragnar. Vikings show. Guess where he's from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's from Iceland. Uh, he's 3,000. He will play. Um, yeah, I, I, he's really good. <laughs> you don't even know much about him, do you? No. Uh, Edo probably does, but uh, Edo, who you got? To, who is that your own? I've got another one. No, I've got, I've got the Hungarian, Adam Lang, uh, who, oh, yeah. who I picked also last week and again did very good for me in the center, center, um, center half as well. But all action, Jackson, this chap, and he, yeah, he got us a few points. So I'm sticking with him again, and he's very affordable, 3.3. Adam Lang, very good Hungarian name. Edo, who do you have uh, for your defenders? I'm going to stick to the dudes I picked last week. Essentially, Laurent Simon of Belgium, because I think Belgium will play the island game on the attack. So lots of crosses, and I think he's a very proactive player. And Virinha of Portugal, for much the same reason, because Portugal attacked against Iceland, will attack Austria. And Virinha got more than 10 points last time. There were even a couple of terrible shots in there. Hey, they all count. They're all DK points. Who knows? Maybe an assist. He's 4,400. Simon is three and a half. So, yeah. Not bad value there. Andy? Yeah, I've got the sort of averagely priced uh, defenders. I've gone for Rafael uh, Guerrero of Portugal. Uh, he's 4.3 thousand, so he's reasonably cheap. And, you know, same business as you. He's, he, he's going to attack. Um, and another guy, uh, Seamus Coleman of Ireland, nice. uh, who had a very good game uh, last time out. Four and a half thousand. Crosses the ball like there's no tomorrow. Always love that. Now, the big thing in midfield, has got some great midfielders playing on Saturday. Who are you going to choose for midfielders? So I'm going to start with you, Andy. Hey, I've gone, like, big and small All right. in my midfield. Big and small. Big, I've gone for uh, Balas uh, Zuzak of Hungary. He, I picked him last time. He didn't let me down. Uh, he's on at 7.3 thousand, so he's, he's one of those. He's not expensive, but he's not cheap it's sort of middling and i needed that uh, for, for reasons that are obvious later on and alongside him uh, another guy i picked last week i didn't think he was going to play but he came on a sub renato sanchez of portugal he's only on at 3.7 thousand um I, I i i hear that there might be they might try him out from the start this time around which means he can score me more points than the sort of four or five he got me last time around so and at 3.7 thousand it's cheap enough to take a risk Good value midfield. Edo, who is, how's your midfield looking? And uh, points for pronunciation. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. So in that case, uh, hipster pick from last week, Balash Zuzak. Uh, very impressed hipster with him. Pick. Hipster pick, 7,300. Still cheap for the hipster pick. Yeah. And Dries Mertens of Belgium, 7,800. So this is hoping he starts. Adds a more direct dimension to Belgium. None of this passing around the box where no one has any idea what they're going to do afterwards. No one-twos, no nothing. He puts it in. 
I think he's going to be a really good pick if he starts. So uh, those are my guys. Tyrone midfield, throw it at us. You're both maniacs. Uh-oh. Maniacs. That's what you are. How can you overlook Zoltan Strieber? Oh. After what he did for me last week, came off the bench for Hungary, he did. What a finish. What a finish to put oh, uh, yeah. Austria to the sword. Uh, hungry, tidy, muscular, pacey. He's got it all, this guy. Hopefully, they'll play Zoltan. Hopefully, he'll start. But I think he'll get on whatever happens because he is one hell of an option. And I do think Hungary will beat Iceland as well. So, he's only 4,000. Really cheap. Why not? That left me some money, that did. So I've gone for the best player in the Premier League two years ago. I've gone for Eden Hazard, and I can't believe none oh, of you have. Oh, no. He was, I'll tell you what, right? I'll tell you what, he was pretty productive against Italy in terms of possession, <laughs> if not distribution. But he will be against Ireland, because that, that, apart from Coleman, and I'm gutted I didn't pick him, actually. I picked him last week and did me good. I overlooked him this week. Apart from Coleman, that Irish defence, they made of butter. Made of butter. Him and De Bruyne, and I can't believe either of you chaps overlooked him as well because he's due a good one. They're going to carve through Ireland, and I think Eden Hazard's going to have an absolute blind. He's 9,000, but he's coming into form. He really is. It wasn't much anyone could do against that Italian defence the other day, but damn it, he did give it a go. He's going to kill Ireland. Eden Hazard, guys, pick him. 9,000. I just don't trust the Belgians. No, I picked Belgians last time round and they, they screwed me. I, just I know, but them. then, you know what, we didn't pick anyone from Northern Ireland and then just, they, just, turned just, over, just players, they turned over Ukraine in their second game. Not Belgium just as players, players as a nation. That was part Belgian. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm grew up that. I'm, just, I'm a Spurs fan and Spurs yeah. are mainly Listen, Belgian. I, I, went, I visited Belgium for the first time in January, right? Me and a few friends of ours. That's and a nice place. It was a lovely place and there was a Belgian guy there who confused us for Westlife. Oh, that's wow. nice. uh, yeah. That's a true story. They actually thought me and a bunch of other fat, hairy, middle-aged men were the retired. Well, I remember when we, we went to Lille. I remember when we went to global phenomenon. Yeah. I remember when we went to Lille and the, 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 the restaurant owner in Lille insisted that we went to Belgium for a night out. <laughs> Better than Lille. I'll tell you what, <laughs> very good is Lille all is, about Belgium. Yeah, Lille's where we bad. stayed in Brussels, right next door to where that terrorist cell was. There's more to Belgium meets the eye, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you had to go there, did you? They're you gonna do to well. They're gonna do well against Ireland. We're always going to win. All right, let's go to forwards. Uh, let's be forward. Edo, get forwards with me. There's a, there's a big Portuguese dude who probably cost a lot of money. Did you go with him? No. I knew you wouldn't. I don't want him. I want oh. nothing to do with him. He's, he had fitness problems. That's what I'm really worried about. There are fitness right. concerns, which I've read about. He was like, oh, but I'll be back for the next one. It's like, oh, I don't know. I, I'm going to risk it here because the two in a row argument you used actually really scared me. It's true. He doesn't have two stinkers in a row generally. But for Portugal, <laughs> I'm struggling to think of two good games he has in a row. So, yeah, um, I'm very, very finicky about Portugal. In which case, I was going to go with my boy Sugar Shane Long, our boy Sugar Shane Long. But he's out. And so I'm going to go for Robbie Keane as a replacement because he is very likely to start. And at 4,300 costs nada. Otherwise, yeah, I completely, completely lift it out of you. And... Um, <laughs> My other guy, who I really hope will start, uh, a Belgian radio DJ, uh, well, Why? journalist, okay. critic. Oh, I thought yeah. No, I'm going to pick a DJ. This is not I'm going to pick too many DJs. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he went on radio yesterday and openly challenged Wilmots to not play Lukaku and to play someone else. And I'm going to go with someone else as a statement, if anything else. Divock Origi, 6,800. Belgium looked much better with him on than they did with Lukaku, who's been kind of clueless for a while now. And, uh, yeah, so I'm spending less than what Ronaldo would cost with these two guys. So, uh, All right. Uh, Tyrone, you were given Edo death eyes when he mentioned Robbie Keane. Um, <laughs> go with your forwards. Is Keane done one of yours? Uh, no, he's not, Robbie Keane isn't one of my forwards, but Ronaldo is. Because oh. only a maniac who plays DK would not pick Ronaldo. That's what I feel. OK, he didn't do great against, uh, against the Icelanders the other day, but he still scored... A lot of points, more the you know more points than most strikers without scoring a goal. Uh, it's insane. He doesn't put two bad performances together in a row. Not only that, he could be half injured. He could be half dead. They're going to play him because he's all they've got. <laughs> all they've got nothing else. I mean, Nani. I picked Nani the other day, and he thrusted me into seventh in the world that night. Wow. You know this? Yeah, I had a really really good night on uh, DraftKings that night. Thanks, Nani. But I haven't picked you this time. I've gone with Ronaldo again. I think Ronaldo's awesome. I think he's going to absolutely tear through uh, Austria. He has to. Simple reason. Next to him, I've gone for Romelu Lukaku. Ooh. Yes, I have. Oh. Bold Belgian move. Bold Belgian move because I think Wilmots is stubborn. I think he'll start him he again. Is. He is a stubborn man. Problem. Yeah, that is the problem for Belgium, but not on this night. Not against, uh, not against the Irish. I think Lukaku will play. 
He's going to have a, a, a real bug up his ass, as the Americans would say, and I think he's going to real, really, really rip into him. And I think he'll get at least a goal. He has to, but he's in last chance saloon with me as well. I'll be honest with you, this is the last time. And he's not cheap. He's 9,000. But uh, gosh, yes, it's, uh, I'm going for Lukaku. Fingers crossed he's going to deliver it. He should against that very, very lightweight defence. Andy, uh, voice of sanity here. Uh, who's yeah, the forward? The voice of who sanity. Yeah. I've gone for Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, um, he was crap uh. against Dyson, but he still scored like 14, 15 points yeah. or something like that. I mean, if, if a crap Ronaldo gets you that many points, it, even if he's slightly worse, it's still worth <laughs> yeah, It's still worth booking him. Um, so I've gone for Ronaldo. Um, and alongside him, uh, I got all misty-eyed when I heard Sh uh, Shane Long might be out and, and Robbie Keane might be replacing it. Robbie Keane. I love Robbie Keane. I love Robbie Keane so much. He used to be my Yahoo password. That's how much I love <laughs> Robbie Keane. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I absolutely love Robbie Keane. He's one of my favourite Spurs players of all time. Uh, and I, I, um, if, if Shane Long isn't injured, I'm going out there to injure him because I want Robbie Keane on that pitch. <laughs> and he's cheap. He's only 4.3 thousand. Um, and, yeah, come on, a little bit of romance to the Euros. Let's, let's give Robbie some game time to go and... Uh, Go and destroy the Belgians. All right, so everyone has one utility player as well. That's your eighth man. <laughs> who's going to be your utility player, I'm these guys. Who's your utility player and why? Start with you, Edo. Who's your ute and why? Martin Harnick, 6,300. Austria, catch Portugal on the counter. Portugal, bad defence. Harnick, power. Andy, utility. I'm on an expert's tip, so I've gone Gilfy Sigurdsson. Ooh. Ooh. Expensive, but worth it. 8,000, but worth it. Even, even if I can get hump two score points. Tyrone, utility. Who do you got? I've got Sugar Shane Long. Oh. <laughs> That's what I've gone for. Because the um, thing is, right, we, it's, let's not rule him out just yet. Because just this morning, Andy called me up and went, oh, you know Pillar's not. Or Pillar's injured. And he ain't, he started, right? Oh, that's according uh, to DraftKings, he was in. Ah, right. But that's what I mean, I question your sources. I question your sources. Where, who, what are your sources? You're like questioning DraftKings? Yes. <laughs> because no, we're, we're always right. What does the Q mean? The Q? The questionable. Q. Questionable. Questionable. Yes. All right, well, the, the question was answered. He's playing. Now, Sugar Shane, what's your sources on that? Because this is vital. This is 6.5 thousand my budget. It's just... Uh, he, uh, I can't remember what the source was, but it was. I read it this morning. It was in one of the, I, I'm on one of the websites I read, uh, and is he I, questionable? It, I, I, it's I, questionable. I, he was I, I believe even if he starts, he, he won't last an entire game. So we're going to see right. one or the other. All right, but this, this, is, both. this is what I will do then. What I will do because with DraftKings you can make substitutions right, right up to kick yeah, off. Right so right I'm going to stick with Sugar Shane Long, and tomorrow morning I'm going to read. A, I'm going to read a more reputable newspaper, and I will find out if he's injured. And if Likewise. he is, I will bring in. I will bring in Robbie Keane, and I will just drop two grand. That's easy. I'll bring in Robbie Keane. He'll be my utility player. But I think it'll be Sugar Shane Long, and he'll be all right. You can bring yourself to pick Robbie Keane. You'll find someone else worth yeah. it. I will. That's fine. <laughs> that is the beauty of DraftKings. You've got to watch the lineups because you never know who could be injured, who could be questionable. Always check your lineups just before you publish them and before you submit them. Those are the lineups. Those are their eight-man lineup for all the guys. So you can make your own eight-man lineup. How do you do it? You go to DraftKings.co.uk. You put together an eight-man lineup. $50,000 budget to spend on these players. We do it every day for the Euros. It's the best way to enjoy the Euros, playing along with DraftKings. DraftKings.co.uk, home of the Euros. Welcome to the big time.